Fred with Fred Shots Photography. Um, a couple of quick things that you need to know. One, I'm Asian, okay? <laughs> So a lot of people, they don't get that right off the bat. Um, so I'm Asian. So what does that mean? That means that I think I was saying Fuji and Kodak before Dada and Mama, okay? Um, my first foray venture into photography was when, uh, that I recall, was when my dad had an old Polaroid. Not the kind where you push the button and it spits out the front, but the kind where you manually pull the lever and then you open the side and you rip, you rip it out of the side and then you peel the paper back. And then you do what? The Polaroid flap dance, right? That's right, y'all know. That right there, you shake that thing, although it had no bearing on the actual image itself, you felt like you were getting something done. Um, and then when I saw the image come in, that, I, call, I call that the awakening moment. That really was the Asians come alive. I was like, oh, and I was like, Dad, what is this? Um, because I thought he had broken the camera when he ripped that joker out. Um, and from that point forward, I can remember this fascination that I still have today uh, with every camera I see. You know what motivates me to buy new cell phones? It's not the technology of the cell phone and all that other stuff, it's the camera. Um, and so I will shop around until I find the cell phone that has the best camera, and then that's the one that I've got to have. Of course, every time they introduce a new phone, what do they always say? Best camera. So, you know, I pretty much am apologizing to my wife now that when the next round of phones come out, I have to have every one, okay? So, what is it about Fred Shots? Um, well, Elizabeth really just kind of dished out everything that's there. Um, my thing, when I, when I sat down and really thought about what is it, aside from my passion, um, which is I could take photos of everything all day long. If, you, uh, if we're friends on Facebook um, or Instagram or Twitter, any of those things, if you look at my feed, you'll find everything from flies that are procreating on my windshield. <laughs> to car accidents, to random people, to strange things in Walmart, um, to Elizabeth, to my boys, to things at church, you name it, it is in there because I just love taking photos. Um, of course, one thing I love more than taking photos is actually eating and paying the rent. Um, so when we moved out here to Texas, it really was just to build um, our Premier Designs business that Elizabeth represents. Um, one of us had to have a hysterectomy. I won't say who, <laughs> to be fair, okay? I won't say who, um, but I had that decision, I had that decision moment. Do I do nothing? Which means, you know, there's no food, no nothing happening, and no, no new cameras occur at that point. Or do I go out and do something? And then what was that something that I was going to do? I was a DJ, of course. Um, when you eject all that gear, it's awfully hard to DJ. When I say, hey, look, you want to gather around my phone and we can all listen? No, that doesn't work. Um, I could go back to teaching, because I was a teacher, and the thought of actually going back into a classroom just absolutely horrified me. Um, I could go get any other job, but the thought of clocking in for someone else, punching the clock, someone else telling me where to show up, when to show up, how long I, could, how long I had to stay and how much I wasn't going to get paid, uh, that absolutely just horrified me also. So the most natural thing for me was pick up your cameras and go at it again. And so I did, um, and that was in 2012 because I'd spent the year here just making sure our boys knew what was going on because we uprooted in the middle of the school year. Um, but since 2012, through networking, now Fred Shots Photography has become a full-time business. Um, and the amazing thing about, you know, you hear, you hear Heidi and other people, you know, oh, it's the Asian sensation. You know what? I didn't actually give myself that name. Someone else gave me that name. Um, and I was kind of like, oh, you know, I'm really not for that until the day that I called somebody. Because they said, hey, you know what, I, I need to get some photos done, give me a call. They slid me their card, so I called them up later on. I was like, hey, it's Fred with Fred Shots Photography. They're like, who? Fred with Fred Shots Photography? I, you know, where, where did we meet? And I said, it's the Asian sensation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so immediately, <laughs> that's where it was at, okay? Uh -huh. So... So that is really, you know, bringing us up to speed. Now, what makes Fred Shots different from other photographers? You know, we all have cameras, um, and I have high regard for anybody who's going to pick up a camera and turn it into a business. You know, I, I want to just give a big old shout out to King. He does incredible work, um, so definitely um, get to know him. But for me, I can shoot pretty much everything. I'll shoot for the moon. As a matter of fact, if you look on my Facebook and Instagram, you'll see that I actually shoot the moon probably about once a month when it's full. Um, 
But when it comes to business, where are you in your professional image? When people look at your image online, do they see you? Or do they see you from 10 years ago? Do they see you in a photo that's not connected to your industry? Or the cardinal sin, and this is according to the Church of Fred, which we have a membership of one, and even then I'm not sure I want to be part of that, um, is your photo portraying you as a realtor from way back when? Okay, now, I, no offense to my realtors, okay, but what's the number one realtor pose? <laughs> All right, um, and if you get McKinney or the Allen magazines and you look through there, there are chiropractors in there that are realtors. There are pediatricians in there that are realtors. There are realtors in there that are realtors. You know, so why cross the arms? I have no idea. Why waste time? Because when someone is evaluating you for your business and whether or not I can trust you, are they looking at your arms and your wrist and your, and your, and your folded body language? No, where are you looking? You're looking at the face, okay? So, you know, quick example. All right, so here we have the at, okay? So if I came to you and I was like, hey, John, you need one of these. You need one of these, all right? You see where my eyes are? They're in the psycho zone, all right? Yeah, you want one. No, it, you say, I don't care what that is. I don't care if you pay me for it. I don't want any of that because you're all up here. Um, but if I came to you and I was like, hey, you know what? Have you ever thought about one of these? You see where my eyes are? They're down. They're down. They're focused in. And this, in the same exact way that when you are reading something for detail, you're going to focus your eyes in. When you are communicating something that's very important, you're going to focus your eyes in. If you're on the gun range and you're looking down the sights you're going to focus your eyes in and it's that focus of the eyes that takes you out of the psycho zone into the confidence zone so that's really what i want to do for you is i want to portray you as confident in your images i want to remove the extraneous uh, all those other things all the detractors the things that serve to take away from who you are and i want to focus primarily on the face so that when people look at you, they say, you know what, I can trust this person. They look natural, they look relaxed, they look polished, they look professional, they look prepared. Um, those are all the things that I want for you. So here's a good case in point. This is a pretty much standard headshot that I do. Notice that the top of the head is missing and that there's barely any of the shoulders because no one is looking at your shoulders saying, I want to do business with that person. <laughs> no one is looking at the part of your hair and saying, man, the part of that hair really looks confident. I'm going to go with that person. I don't do any of that. Well, actually, that's not true. I do on request um, at much protest because you know, it really doesn't serve you when you take more factors into the photo. So when it comes to your image, okay, so here's a gentleman that I photographed. This is a, he's a business development partner. Um, and trainer up in Michigan, okay? And so when you look at that, you don't think he's psycho, you don't think he's disconnected, you don't think that he's from 10, 20 years ago in his photo, and if you saw him today, this is who you would see. Because the worst thing that will happen to you is someone looks you up online, looks you up on LinkedIn, because that is the professional social media network, they look you up there, they see your business card, and they're like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna go have a meeting with Peyton, okay, or Brian. And they see one photo. And then when they meet you in real life, they're like looking around, <laughs> going, where are you? And then you meet them, and, and you know that it's time to update when people give you the O, oh, all right? And that's this, hi, I'm Fred, oh. Okay? <laughs> if ever you have had that, it is time to update your image. Don't be caught with that O thing going on. Now, how many of you, and headshots do have a shelf life, just like everything else. I mean, how many of you would go to the grocery store and buy meat that's a year old, milk that's a year old? canned goods that are a year old, stamped, you know, and it's expired. The same thing is with your headshot. We just don't think that way. Um, and the reason, the primary, the biggest reason for that is the cost. It's usually been expensive to update your headshot. My, my rates are very affordable. Sometimes I'm, I'm like half or less than what my contemporaries offer. Another thing is the convenience. I come to you. I can set it up completely for you, or you can come to our studio and take advantage of the almost $10,000 light setup that we have there. So 
don't let cost be a concern, don't let convenience be a concern, um, and don't let location be a concern. Whether it's at your facility or in our home studio, you know, we've got you covered. And ultimately, you get all the digital image files. I don't hold them hostage. I have no use for them. I have a beautiful wife and two boys that need my constant reminders and guidance. Um, so I don't have time to mess around with holding your images hostage. I would rather we just get this over with, we talk about what we have, we love what we have done, and I give it all to you because I'd rather have you happy and come back next year. And with that, I wanna thank you so much. So Fred Shots is where it's at. Woo!